Read the urgent letter. Just Ebenha got word there might be some destroyer activity near Ebonhawk. Who do we have there right now? There must be an allied faction somewhere nearby. I'll see what I can muster. And I'm in the field of ruin, dealing with what's left of the renegades. I can lend support. Ah, if I may. A heavily armed char contingent approaching Ebonhawk with tensions being so high might be a bad idea. True. You think tensions are so high they turn down help from their char allies? You're not just any char, Kresha. You're an Imperator. And you'd be the first Imperator to set foot in that city. True. Yeah, symbolism, fine. Do they want help saving their city or not? Okay, Kaz, why don't you go to Ebonhawk first and soften the ground? Kresha, I'll meet you there. Oh, how far we've come. They're gonna let Char in Ebonhawk? Don't you remember, like, when Guild Wars 2 first came out? Like, that whole section was all about... Like, the propaganda and... Humans versus Char. Alright, so this was the urgent letter. Um, from Captain Soren. Commander, I am Captain Thaddeus Soren of Ebon Vanguard. I pray this message finds you with all due haste. Our scouts are reporting an increased destroyer activity all around Ebonhawk. I fear it's only a matter of time before the dragon of fire and destruction sets its sight on us. I know you've been spearheading Tyria's efforts to counter the ongoing Elder Dragon attacks. We fear Ebonhawk is next. Okay. Um, so anybody want to join me there? Do I have to make a party first? Or can you guys just slash join space bog space otter? There you go. No, what cannot be That's Techno Nude. I pray to the spirits, but they rarely answer. Yeah, slash join space bog space otter, does that work? Give it a shot. Okay, so what episode are we on now? It's still champions, right? Okay, so... Travel to the Fields of Ruin. Slash... Slash join space bog space otter. Like that. Um, does they do they have another um, conversation to do? Champion, I sense a stronger presence around Vanguard. Perhaps Jormag is ready to break their silence. Let's try this. Is this the same thing I just did? I would like to speak with Jormag. I don't take orders from you. I'm afraid it's no longer your choice. Ooh. The hell? Warreen. The dragon of prisms. Lovely as an ice crystal. It is nice to finally speak with you. Jormag, the dragon of ice and persuasion. You worked so hard to get them to wake you. Why? What is it you want? What I've always wanted, to be free and preserve Tyria. You whisper to vulnerable minds, turn allies against each other. This one, your voice, you've practically made a slave. <laughs> Nothing was done that he did not invite upon himself. These weeks have shown you. I am not the enemy of your mortals. I value this world, Orin. Perhaps we two are more alike than you think. I'm the youngest Elder Dragon, but I wasn't born yesterday. 
Your fear and focus are misplaced. I am not driven to madness and mindless rampage. Like your grandfather. <sighs> Stun silence. I've hit a nerve. Apologies. We can continue this conversation another time. While I'm swimming. Wait! <sighs> she left. I will kill that bastard. <sighs> I very much doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, confer with Bangar. There more. All right, we have to wait till we leave and come back. All right, was this is this Tagos? Did you get in, Tagos? Yeah, we got Rosewolf. So Rosewolf, Techno Newt, and Tagos. All right, sweet. I'm gonna go uh, kick us off. Ooh. And we got Godzilla Kid. All right, wait for you to come over to. Uh, there we go. We got everybody. Nice. Thank you guys for joining. Fields of Ruin. Private. Yes. All right. This should be so much easier. All right. Thank you for joining. Commander, Kreesh is securing the postern gate, but it's only a matter of time now. The destroyers are attacking already? Did you manage to call for reinforcements? I did. Oh. I received word of a number of allied factions in the area. Should we do yeah, any of the challenges? Yeah, here in time is the question. Gotta trust them. But right now, we need to rally the locals. They don't want to fight? It's their city. They're just nervous having a Char Imperator fighting from the inside out. It's been ten years needs? since the treaty was signed. How is this still acceptable? They're on our side, Commander. But this is new to them. They just need a little push. Come on, let's muster the troops. Mustering, I muster. Does that work? Hello, stranger. Fighters are rallied. Let's go, everybody. I am rallying you. Come with us. Come with me if you want to live. Don't mustard them. They may not like that. That's true. I don't like being mustered either. Hello, stranger. Hello. Why don't you come along? What do you need? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Honor the past. I'm working fast so I can make weapons. I hope you're talking some sense into these humans. Destroy your activities on the rise over here. I'm definitely talking to the humans. I'm good at this. Oh, I got everybody hurt. May the six watch over you. What do I got in my hand here? Get rid of that. I never got that mastery up there. Or is that just in here? We got two minutes left. Commune with this place of power. Oh, nice. 
All right, let's go fight some people. One minute and 20 seconds to kill eight more. You'll be feeling that one for days. You should know I'm not all smiles. So much power. So much power. Hey devs, what's up? You didn't know this game was still a thing? Increases. It's very much a thing. They're going to be talking about their next expansion on the 27th Sweet of July. Treasure. What dreadful business. And they're doing a whole bunch of different comeback events right now in the game. All right, we did it. Commander, the postern gate's fallen. Fall back. Kaz, where are those reinforcements? There, look. The dwarves made it. Looks like they brought that alchemical acid too. The Let's dwarves. Let's put it on the field. Adrenaline surging. We are the dwarves, and they diggy diggy holes. Hey, gamer knight, what's up? Nice work with the locals. The Wasn't sure you'd be able to convince them I was here to help. They weren't sure what to make of you. A lot of these people spent their lives trying to keep the Imperators out. But actions speak louder than words. Boing. Much louder than decade-old pieces of paper. I'm done squinting at trees. If they can't see what I'm trying to do with the char, they aren't paying attention. They are paying attention. That's why they're fighting with us. Now you suffer. Look out. Need help here. I can use a hand over here. Use dwarf alchemical acid to corrode enemies. I don't even see where that is. You like this sword? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's the uh, Shimmering Aurora Greatsword. Welcome back, Elf on the Shelf. Ah, feels nice. I can feel fair power. Yeah, if anybody's taking a big break from uh, Guild Wars, today they put out a patch reintroducing the old twisted marionette boss battle for the first time in a long time. We did some attempts to that earlier. So much power. Okay. Next. We just group two of these up together. I'm dying. We'll pull more. Come over here. Life, let my creation live. Oh, 
Ha! Extra damage. Kick him in the face. Some healing here. So which ones of these uh, champions missions actually have like payoff in them? I mean, it seems like the story nugget maybe at the beginning, at the end, are the only things like that are super interesting. And there's a lot of these, right? Only the beginning, the end. See, this is what I mean about, like, um, ho I hope for the End of Dragons expansion, that they just they just do content differently. Like, these kind of events just do nothing for me. And a lot of, uh, a lot of the running around a map is finding events that are just like this and just running around with a group of people and spamming buttons. You only did these for the dwarf infusion and the skin rewards and I know see I don't even know what the rewards Such are. Might. I'm just trying to get through the story. Uh, feels nice. See if I can pull like the next group in. Oh, grass stomach. Nice. Ah, such might. Try. Eat pain. power these are like mini dungeons for five people yeah yeah true and if you're here just for the story no not that great yeah well you know what even if you're here for dungeons i don't know how to explain it i don't know how to explain it it camp in the center of the stronghold Just feels like um, it just feels like busy work, honestly. So I don't, I don't perceive it as like a mini dungeon. So I don't know if it's the uh, the combats, the way they work, events, or like the rewards. I just feel like there needs, needs to be an overhaul too. One of those three things or all of those three things when they're coming up with the content for the expansions. Because otherwise, it's going to be similar for me personally that um, Path of Fire was. That it was super fun playing through the story and running through the zones the very first time. And then after I did all that once, for me, I was done. That's it. Come on, everyone. You want your city to fall to some overgrown bug? Here he is. Ah, such might. Let's break his bar. My strength increases. Kick him in the head. By my will. Ah. 
Is Guild Wars a subscription-based MMO? No, Gamer Knight. Never been a subscription fee. Um, it bought you buy the box. Well, here's the thing: the game is free to play up to level 80 and all of the pre-expansion content. Right now, if you buy Path of Fire, which is the second expansion, it comes with the first expansion, Heart of Thorns, for free. So really, you the only thing you need to buy is expansions. Um. And if you're interested in uh, some of the story that you missed between the expansions, some of that has a price on the gem store. So here's your story. So some of these episodes, if you don't have them unlocked, you, have, you buy those story bits online in the gem store. But other than that, you can just... Right here, here's the link. If you want to create an account and try it out for free, that'll support the stream. Yeah. Ah, such might. But no subscription. And if anybody doesn't have the uh, expansion yet, I think you can do this link. Yeah. Try me. Oh. It hurts, doesn't it? I've sneezing. Safety zone. My strength increases. You're welcome, Gamer Knight. I also have uh, this video. This is, I recommend if you're coming from another MMO, look over those top 10 tips for new Guild Wars 2 players. It's a video I made several years ago, but the concept should be the same. Looks like they're retreating for now. Everyone all right? The stronghold stands, at least for another day. Yeah, they're lucky we were all nearby, or this would have gotten out of hand real quick. Yeah. These people trust you, Krisha. You saw how they fought by your side. You helped. But the Treaty of Ebonhawk's ten years old. It's time we moved past it. Moved past it how? Anyone can tear up a piece of paper, throw the world into disarray. We either trust each other, or we don't. I think today was a step in the right direction. There's more to be done. But I think you're right. Thanks, Kaz. Commander. Boop, 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 boop. I can talk to them. Yay. These poor people. Ebon Hawk's been through so much. They'll repair the damage they always do. Yeah, they're a proud people. Survived worse than this. But even so, I hate seeing them constantly under siege. It sets the mind a certain way, always having enemies at the gates. First Char, then Renegades, and Separatists. Maybe after Kresha's dealt with the Renegades and we've dealt with Primordus, Ebonhawk can finally, you know, relax. Were you worried how Ebonhawk would react to Kresha? Worried? No. It just needed to be handled properly. Ebonhawk. I mean, aside from the Separatists. I think they're ready to move on. Bangar was saying things that really scared these people. And Kresha used to be his second-in-command. True. We just had to remind them what Kresha was fighting for up in Drizzlewood. That helped a lot. Have you been working with Kresha at all after Drizzlewood? Yes, quite a bit. She's been working to clear up the rest of the Renegades in Bangar's Dominion. I spent a lot of time with the Char in Drizzlewood, so Kresha asked if I could help finish what we started. It's important for human-Char relations that we very publicly, very loudly go after these groups. You saw today what kind of effect that can have. It's the difference between peace and war. It's worth it. Greetings. Okay. And Kresha? Um, I was worried about these people, but they came through in the end. They trust you now. Sure. 
But if every char needs to personally save this city before they can be trusted, <laughs> we're in point. trouble. True. I know this was different. I'm an imperator. That's a big step. But we can't be like this. We need to be better. If the Black Citadel was attacked and we called in the Ebon Vanguard, would they respond like I did today? Probably not. I hope so. That's the only way this is going to work. Uh, what were you doing in the Fields of Ruin? Tying up loose ends. Now that Bangar's indisposed, Malice and I took a little tour of his office. He was covering his tracks, but Malice confirmed her suspicions. Bangar was bankrolling the renegades. Yeah. We got information on their strongholds, power structure, who's loyal, who isn't, everything. Actionable intel. So I'm acting. Acting! Not sure if you saw the reveal for season five of Fall Guys, but it looks so good. Been really waiting for this one. I uh, all I saw was the jigsaw puzzle that they solved this morning, so I know the theme is jungly. When does it come out? Do we have a date yet? Uh, are the United Legions still united? The Char Legions are still the Legions. Warband as family, warband above self. But it's clear we need stronger cohesion among the Imperators. Not sure we'd survive another Bangar. To answer your question, yes, the United Legions remain united. But that's short term. And that worries me. All right, and finally, how is Mia Kindleshot as Iron's new Imperator? Cut from the same cloth, that's for damn sure. Imperator. Not surprised, considering Imperator. the company Smoter like Imperator. To keep. Fortunately for us, she doesn't have the same aspirations that Smoter had. The camera? Connor is a tricky subject. Just saying you want the job can get you shanked. She knows better. Aside Am I that, frozen? The rank and file like her, and she's promoted loyal tribunes. Kindleshot will do Iron proud, I think. Am I frozen for you guys? Can you hear me? Oh, there we go. That was really weird. Hi. Is it working again? My whole, uh, in and out for you? How can I possibly get encoding overloaded when I'm using a two PC setup? How is that possible? Yes, you are frozen. Video not sound. Should be better now. Freeze frames. Freeze frames! Yeah, should be okay now. Hey, Wolfie McGee. I don't know what happened with that. That was weird. Everything kind of just went... 67. You've stayed a while and listened. Kiriwa, what's up? In an otter, you're an otter. We're all otters. Frozen otters. Frozen otters and otter pop. There you go, otter pops. Thank you so much for the 67 month resub. All right, we're going to escape out of here. Retreat to the eye of the north. Hey, Fayaz, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, sorry for the uh, the hiccups there. All right, gang, we are working through uh, catching up on the champions' um, storylines. Commander, anyone on the rotation who could head to Thunderhead Keep? Thunderhead Keep? I'm not too far away. What's up? Sudden infestation of destroyers, apparently. It's Keith I think and a then bit Bram. of help is in order. I can meet you there, Bram. Great. Look for Mirren Skjolken. Formerly Priory, now Mirren a member Skjolken. of the Moon. They'll have a better idea of the situation. On my way. Okay. Vacation and family, you've been busy? Wolf McGee? McGee? Wolfie McGee? Alright. Sounds pretty good. And you're doing great, Fayas? That's good to hear. Um, Alright, let's go check in over here to see if there's more uh, story we can listen to here. By the way, gang, we have Guild Wars 2 gem codes we're giving away every five newer gifted subs today. We gave out a bunch earlier today. But there's still about an hour left in the stream. 
Alright, let's see if there's anything else here. I still haven't been able to pinpoint where Jormag has disappeared to, Champion. They're very adept at hiding themselves from me. That makes me nervous. I'd like to know where Jormag's planning. Jormag, will you speak with us again? Come to the mortals. <laughs> Such curious creatures. Changed since the last time I was fully awake. Yet their lives are still so ephemeral. Hey, Baldwin. Pitiable. You look down on them. That's a flaw. Oh, there are some exceptions. I can see why you've bound yourself to your commander. Because I'm handsome. Not bound. Chosen and reciprocated. Yes. Yes. Just so, I suppose. I admit, now that I have one of my own, I understand the appeal of such a partnership. So Ryland is still with you? Of course. He's surprisingly easy to talk to, and an excellent strategist. Oh yes, so, so excellent. That's the opposite of reassuring. No, Marionette, we, we did it a bunch of times I earlier and failed. And you still don't trust me. You raised an army. I'm betting you raise one still. An army led by my champion. Just as you have. And what do you plan to do with your champion and your army? Guard the future. And my freedom. I am not the threat, Aurene. Focus your attention on what is coming. Not on me. Kill him! <laughs> My character, kill him! Not likely. And knowing what it is won't change the fact that they're playing me like a fiddle. Hmm. You would know. Kill him! That was great. I don't know. I, I think Bangar's... I, I think Jormag's fine. Jormag's not the threat. Jormag just wants to survive. That's it. We can let Jormag live. I trust. I trust her. Why would she betray us? Wasn't that great timing? Kill him! I love that. That was fantastic. Okay. So next next section. Thunderhead Peaks. A couple of our people might be AFK. Excelsior. There we go. And no pressure to join us, gang. If you wanted to the bow out, no worries. I understand. No pressure. But it does make it easier, so thank Over you. Here, it's Cabram. Eat pain. Hmm. Delicious. Adrenaline surging. Fire burns. Better than movement. I got a vicious claw. Alright, spar with survivors and lend encouragement. Injuries healed. I like this. We literally have destroyers destroying us. And I gotta spar with these guys. I can spar with hey, you. We're looking for Skelkin. And you found me. 
my son. Come on. Last I heard, the Priory had set up an outpost to guard the keep and the forge. Since Kral Katorik's defeat, ah, the lucky such a might! Today. We had no warning, Commander. Between one moment and the next, the beasts flooded in from every corner. We Coming lost down. people. We can't lose the stronghold too. Certainly not to destroy us. You want us to take back the keep? The injured, the scared, and the unarmed? I don't like our odds. Strength of will and a bit of heart can go pretty far. Well then, let's lend them a little of ours and get them ready to go back in. Okay, we sparred with eight. And then we need to heal two more. Okay, survivors have been healed. Godzilla Kid, was that like a super adventure box mount? <laughs> Alright, we got the 10 sparring. We injured. Alright, so we need destroyers killed. So getting this opening event done like helps I'm wounded. shorten like the Strike. mission or helps with the mission in Come some way. Oh, I've never saw that before. Super adventure mounts. Oh, Be great. ready for what we might find on the other side of that door. I'm ready. Speaking of buffing attributes. Spirits. Wait, are those Deldramore dwarves? Guess we really are the reinforcements. If you've got any tricks up your sleeves now, would be a good time. I just ate some food. That should be good enough. Never expected to see so many of your people on the surface. Destroyers started rising faster than we could beat them back. Jormag no, no, no. woke up and then triggered Primordius. Vickers. Enough talk. They get thicker farther in. I thanked you 61 times for resubbing. If I have to thank you one more time, it'll be 62. 62. Wow, over five years Man. of bogging. Here's bits to you. Thank you, Cookie Scout. 61 months. A generous bestowal. And bits? Oh. And bits, thank you, Cookie Scout. A thousand bitties. Thank you so much. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Welcome to the stream, Cookie Scout. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Bits are delicious. Delicious bits. Right now, I mean, can we set up something so that if somebody uh, donates bits, it will uh, make my computer spit out Skittles in a, in a proportional amount to the amount of bits cheered so I can get Skittles? What do you think? It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Gardner Girl just gifted a sub to Baldwin. 
343 so gifted much. subs for Gardener Girl. Four more newer gifted subs. We will do a, another Guild Wars 2 gem code giveaway. My strength increases. Of course you can. I get fat fast. Already there. Raynami, right, if you build that tool to have my computer spit out Skittles, can you make them only spit out the red ones? There you go. And could you make it so I don't have to fill my computer up with Skittles? I don't have to buy the Skittles myself. They just magically appear. Can you do that too? Do you think it'd be easier to pay Azari to throw Skittles at me? Okay. You can do that too. If you guys want to pay Azari to throw Skittles at me, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Where do we go? We're Priory, now you're Crystal Bloom. That's a jump. I'm also a Norn who sometimes walks as a bear. Huh. Lots of things can be true at the so same time. Power. What a treatise once that suggested the dragons of fire and ice might be twins. Didn't expect confirmation. So Jormag claims. Might validate the theory that the only thing that can kill one is the other. How's that square with the tale we were told? That the Norn of prophecy can kill Jormag? This makes any sense. The truth of a prophecy isn't always clear until it's come better to than pass. Loot. Thanks. I feel so much better. Is Myron Skialkin? Is that a new NPC? I like how uh, right now me and Pinky Pop are like seriously trying to figure out how this would work. Refresh it. The Skittle dispensing for bits. It would need to become down like a feeding tube that's on camera so that your like bits were actually seen trickling down and then I'm not allowed to touch it with my hand. I have to just eat what's ever in the beet bin. The beet bin, the bit bit bin. Skittles bit bin. And plus we need to uh, wait for our sponsorship with Skittles to come in. So we got some work to do. I lost my group. Help is on the way, dear. Such might. Like the bunny and pancakes at the end of Ralph Breaks the Internet. Oh, I never saw that. I only saw the first one. The end is near. The end is near, and so I flail. Oh, hurrah, nice. hurrah. The end is near, and off. so I flail. Hurrah, hurrah. Better than moon. It was the teaser commercial for the movie. Sorry. I keep thinking these are the bad guys, but that's a good guy. Big giant scary thing is a good guy. Oh, you have a cat Pressure. feeder that's made from a candy dispenser? How funny. Help me. Ah, feels nice. Drying off. Huh. Uh. 
Do you remember that stream, Piggy Fluff, where I was doing, uh, I think it was a, the Hobbit Thon. The Hobbit Thon, where I had a whole bunch of donuts. And I said I would, uh. I forget how it started. I know we had to change it halfway through. There were like goals to make me eat donuts. And I was eating the donuts without my hands, was it? And then you guys just made me eat so many donuts. I was already feeling sick. And I was like, yeah, I need to change how this works. <laughs> Cause we're like a couple, we're only a couple hours into this 14 or 15 hour long stream. And I was already feeling ill. I ate one for 10 bucks or something. Yeah, I almost choked on those donuts. You're right. Oh no, I didn't remember what it was. You you reminded me, Sir DM. At first it was eat the donuts in one bite, like full size donuts in one bite. That's what it was. And then after I almost choked on one, we changed it to eating the donut with no hands. But then it just become gross. It's making them stronger. I know And Garner Girl's like, yeah, it was fun. And with extra love. Oh, man. It was fun seeing you choke and smash your face into the plate. Okay. I was not expecting it to be that big. Oh, geez. What the hell is this? It's a lobster. Lobster. Shake it off. Destroyer of the Last Forge. What the hell is that thing? Shake it off. Refresh it. Oh, such might. Shake it off. Kill him. No, you don't. This thing is the annoyance I hate with a passion. Sanity this thing? Doing this solo would be a nightmare. Doing this thing, this stuff solo is, uh, take forever. You think a destroyer and a raptor got a little too friendly? Is that what that thing is? It's definitely part lobster. Kill the eggs. I see no eggs. Where is an egg? Oh, this egg. Yeah, I see. Games are always more fun with friends. True. Such might. I can feel bad power. Huh. This thing's not going down easy. Spears? Those were made for Crocotorix's energy, not Primordis's. Commander, can you use Orane's gift to alter the power of a spear? Maybe slow it some? Yeah. I'll do that. How do I do that? I'm going to use Orion's gift. Overflow. Hit, hurl it at the destroyer. Uh. Such might. I don't think that did much. Kill him. Shake it off. When the brake bar is up.
And then the day goes by, and the water falls under. Faster! You may ask yourself. Sorry, I have talking heads in my head. It's in my head. It's in my head. I see the the break part doesn't last long enough with a full group to make it worthwhile going to grab the uh, spear thingy. My group's too good. Kill him. Come and get me. Hey, Cookie, what's up? How you doing? Double O nine, Cookie. So much power. Too many elementals and destroyers. The commander's never going to get a clean strike. It's not always the swipe of the claws that's most not important. Not enough endurance. In I'm open to suggestions. Destroyers are calling to you, aren't they? You sense each other. Use that against them. How did you? What? Bait. But be bait. Bait. Be bait. Keep is secure. All right. Many thanks to you and the dwarves. We well, did it. It'll have fetch a doing. nice pro Will we see more of your people? Say destroyers. They'll see us. Daily. It was a pleasure and an honor to fight beside Orin's champion. Likewise, Mirin. Somehow, I don't think this will be the last time. I understand the weight you carry, Erson. And its privilege. The Norn of prophecy. The spirit touched. There's a legacy in your blood and loyalty at your back. Yet none of that matters without heart. So find yours. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Do you not get to talk to these peoples? Like you did? No NPCs to talk to this time, I guess. No. Okay. I guess not then. We'll head out, we'll go back to Warreen. You just finished Lasta last week, so very interesting indeed. Oh, nice. Nice. I still haven't finished it. I'm not going to be able to continue my playthrough. I'm going to start over with a sorcerer in my, at least one sorcerer in my party. So, yeah. Um, thanks to the folks that are helping with this. I'm not sure we're going to do another one just yet. We might wrap up. You know, maybe we'll do one more. Depending on if that wraps on up or not. Let's see. Commander? I we consult the timing. Time. Come back to Radasum as quick as he can. I'm in the Arcane Council Chamber. Do you require my assistance? Duty calls. Alright, so let's go back to uh Timey. Come back to Radasum as soon oh quickly as you can. Alright, let's go first see if they uh have any more things to say over here. I don't like Crocs myself, Grand Army, but the point is clear. Slip-on shoes that are durable and washable rather than slippers. You can wear them outside. It's nice to see. They get dirty, you wash them. Just durable, slip-on shoes. Commander, I've got some choice words for my former Imperator. Kresha's gloves are off. Kresha needs answers. Kresha cuts to the chase. I didn't trust you before, and I sure as hell don't trust you now. Give me one good reason not to kill you. 
Maybe you weren't paying attention, but the Ice Dragon stuck this thing on me. Apparently, I'm its spokes char. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if Jormak needs to talk with us, they'll find a way to do it, with or without you. Try again. I know Rylan better than anyone. Better than you, far better than Brimstone. I can tell you what he's likely to do. Recent events suggest otherwise. Last chance. My sparkling wit? You'd miss me. I already miss you. I've missed you for months. The mentor who taught me half of all I know. That char I mourn. Not you. You, I just pity. You can never tell when these are done. I guess they're done. Krisha needs answers. What happened to you, Bangar? Were you always like this? Was I just blind to it? Like what? Blind to what? The hate. The sociopathy. Flames, you Flames. murdered Almora. She wanted to stop me. She told you the truth. Time was you expected that. For me, at least. Everything I did, I did for the char. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that. While I clean up your mess. Creature's not holding back. I love it. I love it. Okay, next part. Creature cuts to the chase. So, Jormag can speak to us through you. That seems to be the idea. Does that cut both ways? Say we want to talk to Jormag. We just say whatever it is to you and Jormag hears it? You're assuming it gave me an instruction manual. I have no flaming idea. Let's try it. Jormag, Elder Dragon of Ice and Persuasion. I request an audience. I am Krisha Stoneglow, Imperator of the Blood Legion. Will you parlay? Will you parlay? So it's a one-way thing. I'm the voice of Jormag, not the ears of Jormag. Or maybe it just doesn't care what you have to say. True. All right, there we go. All right, we keep getting little achievements for that, which is nice. All right, let's go consult with Taimi at Radasum. Uh. Do I just travel there? The old-fashioned way. Yeah. Yeah. Crocs are super com comfy. They make 12 to 16 hours on concrete. So much more bearable. You stand outside 12 to 16 hours on concrete? And if someone determined a way to suppress the inhibitor? Well, then we die or we bow down to our new Golem overlords. All prices are nominal. All right. Where are you? How are your endeavors progressing? Would you like to continue your story, Jormag's World? So what is this? Is this the end of the first champions? How may I assist you? Jormag's World. Or is this the start of the next one? Hold on. 
I've been delving into eternal alchemy theory. Chairman's world. Oh, this is Just uh need to know what formula to apply and how to account for the variables. Have you no intellectual interest in This is chapter 2, right? Current project? Not remotely. Let the College of Statics find uses for my work. I'm so confused by these. Like why couldn't they like Put subsections of champions down here so you could see where you were. All right, so champions. Oh, we already did part. Okay, so we already did first part of Roaring Flames. So this will be the second part. Dormag's world has travel around a Zoom and meet with Timey. Travel, okay, so yeah. So there's, a, there's a whole big part. Yeah, I'm not going to start this one yet. It's the second half. This is chapter three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably wait for this for next time. Are you spending any time 